Yo, what's good with everybody, man? I hope everybody's having a productive day, feeling blessed, and like I always say, it's one life, one chance. We only got one chance to do this right. Let's get it done. With that being said, new video, new topic. Found some somebody very interesting that, that has an interesting story behind him. So I was like, you know what? I got to tell this story. Not a crazy outcome like you guys are going to expect. Like, you know, I got boobop by a chick, like my post I did earlier. But still... It's still a funny one, one for the books. So let's get into it. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like, always leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Check the links in the description for my app on Spotify music. It's all I ever asked from you guys. Go stream my music, listen to it one time, get the numbers up, help me out. Record labels might be looking, might be not. So who knows? Wish me luck. Thank you guys for tuning in. Now, as you've seen from the thumbnail... A Sureño from Tulare County, huh? I thought, I thought all these, these Northerners said they're, they're not out here like that, bro. They're not out here like that. But the boy boy hit the 10 most wanted list of Tulare County Sheriff's Department. Bro, it, I mean, regardless, bro, he might be a criminal and he might be a Sureño. He might be a lot of things. But to hit the 10 most wanted fugitive list on the run... That's doing big things, bro. So, you know, he's going to go down and wherever he's at in the pen right now, talk about, bro, I was wanted by the FBI, homie. The CIA was even looking for me. That's how hard I was to find. Bro, they found you in Barrio Bakers. They found you in Bakersfield, California. So, the individual was wanted for a series of felony warrants, including possession of nar narcotics, manufacturing illegal weapons, and we all know what those are, the ghosty guns, the Pac-Man guns. Evading a police officer, but who doesn't do that? I'm pretty sure there's... Uh, sixth graders and seventh graders that did it once or twice in their lifetime, including till today. You know, just the same way a, a kid runs from a parent and tries to run away, and we got to chase the kids in the park when they when they see like the 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 little little monkey bars and you know the kid little runs. You know, every everybody in that lifetime has ran from the police at least once. And honestly, I hate to say it, and I hate to be the one to have to say this all over YouTube, but women run from cops more than men do. I just thought I'd point that out there. And sometimes they be running just to run. You know how they say, women love a chase. Oh, and then one of the uh, felony warrants that he had on him was attempted homicide. Did the background check, come to find out. You know, he was lighting some stuff up, especially with illegal manufactured mechanics against northerners from Early Mart. And you know how Early Mart that beef with a lot of people right there. And then he's caught up in the middle of a lot of little towns that are all just all, you know, northern gang infested, so... You know, he probably had to put in a lot of work, bro. The boy had to do what he had to do, but they caught him. He was on the run. He actually went to Barrio Bakers, and the Sureños out there from Bakersfield were hiding him out. They actually located his whereabouts, found him walking out of a house, and they chased him down, blitzed him like he was Bin Laden, and he was arrested. This happened a couple years ago. Why do I mention this? I'm about to tell you why. There was this one time, bro, when I first got out, like I said, man, uh, I was I was on uh, Facebook dating and a lot of those women out there on Facebook dating that always put their snaps and all their social media, you know, usernames. So I'd be looking up a lot of girls. I was adding a lot of girls and hey, you, you provided your social media. So why can't I be on there? So one day, man, I, I remember chilling. I was in a, I was in a, I was renting a room out there on the north side, and I had a, uh, I was just by myself. It was a couple hours before work. It was on my old YouTube channel where it was just music videos, and I was posting a lot of fights. And um, sure enough, I see this girl snap. I don't know where she's from exactly. To be honest with you, I, I do remember her name, but I'm not gonna provide that information because she does post a lot of crazy stuff. Always throwing up the foes and always throwing up the red rags. Always drinking with a red rag on her shoulder. And throwing up all kinds of crazy stuff, always with the homies. I didn't pay no mind to it, and you know, that was neither here nor there to me, bro. I was just like, man, if you bad, I don't care what set you from, bro. I'm trying to punch on it. That's it, bro. I'm trying to beat. That's it. Nothing else. Don't, I'm not. I don't care about your gang affiliations. I don't care what color of the crown box that's your favorite. None of that. You were on Facebook dating, trying to throw it at me or the public, should I say? And then I wanted it, so I, I added you on Snap. But when I added her on Snap, she would just like like my posts, like my, my stories, so on and so forth. So one day I'm going through all my stories. I'm liking like all the baddies. And I see her story. And she and, and right there it says, you want to see a fight? Swipe left or something like that. And I was like, interesting. Girl fight. Well, I press it and it's actually this dude that you see on the thumbnail. From the looks of it, it there was nothing in the room. It, that's what it looked like. It looked like an empty room, like if there was like an abandoned house, everybody was drinking, 
And there was like two homegirls next to the wall. And they were wrapping up their hair. And it was her. And then she was throwing up the foes. But this dude was getting jumped by two vatos. And I'm going to assume they were Nortenos. And they were serving him, right? He was right there just like, they were pulling on his shirt. They were trying to rip his shirt off. And they kept like smacking him in the ears. And his head was going left and right. He had his hair all beat up. I know he had that TC on his little forehead, and they were just, like, socking him up, calling him every name in the book. And homegirls right with the phone right there, like, what's up, fool? What's up, fool? And saying all the derogatory words towards this guy. And then I see the highness, as soon as their hair was in the little bun, boom, they start jumping in and start serving this fool. So I'm like, oh, okay. Okay, we got we got Vatos and we got highness jumping in, man. These highness, you know, they kind of stepped it up a notch, homie. You know, they, they said, forget all this getting banged in the hood. We want to get jumped in the hood. So they're, just, they're jumping this fool and they're scraping this fool. He's not, he's not making no noises like, uh, uh, oh, stop, fool. None of that, bro. He's just taking the punches like, bam, bam, bam. But he's not really fighting back, bro. He's like trying to hold on to everybody while they're ripping his shirt off because he had a blue faded shirt. And he had some beat up jeans. His hair was all messed up and long. I mean, honestly, bro, if I would have seen him, like, look, to me personally, all the Sudanians I ever fought in my life, man, they were well dressed. I'm, I'm not going to lie. They took pride in them little blue Pendletons, them white shirts, them creased up pants. This dude just looked crummy and bummy, bro. He looked like a scum bucket. I would have just thought he was just a regular homeless dude that got out of prison, couldn't find a place to stay, you know, ran to the pipe, ran to the sack, and just threw his life away. I would, Even if he was a Sudanio, I mean, he looked like he lived underneath the bridge, bro. So, honestly, I wouldn't I wouldn't even want to sock him up. I'm like, hey, man, give, give him to the homeless, man. Bone fights. Let them do it. But instead, they're just jumping this fool in the highness. I was like, bro, they, they got to be half man. Because the way they were fighting, bro, I was like, man, I'm talking girls pull hair a little bit and a couple of little. Nope. I'm talking about, they were like, what's up, fool? You beat up. They were throwing knees. He fell. They were like, the girls were like jumping on his back of his head, throwing mean old elbows, the people's elbow. And they were doing all, they were scraping this fool. So what do I do? The story ends. I was like, man, that's some very good content right there. I'm going to have to use that. So I go back not knowing that, you know, the I'm going to be honest with you. And don't hate me for this. I know you guys are going to call me a dirtbag for this. But I didn't know nothing about screenshotting people's stories and recording it. I didn't know that they were notified that I'm recording it. So what I do, I record it. Ah, cool. Got a clean fight for YouTube. That's going to go viral right now. It's going to boost up my subscribers. Bam. I get off the story. I go to my iPhone. Uh, I think it was an eight at the time. You know, I crop it and edit it so you don't see like her uh, her Snapchat and all this and that. Filter it a little bit, make it stand out. You know, throw up the bright. You know, the saturation. You know, me the highlights. I brighten it up a little bit so YouTube can see this. Cause everybody's posting fights on YouTube. I was like, I need some views, bro. I need some views. I need to get my content up, man. I'm a content creator. They created the content. I recreated it with my own effects and Photoshop. You know, obviously it becomes my property after this. So, bam, I, I drop it on YouTube. But the moment I dropped it on YouTube, she comes at me in my, in my, in my, my snap, and I was like, oh, fool, she's getting at me, fool. She wants to, she wants to holler, bro. I, I've been waiting for this moment, bro. She's pretty. I just ain't going to go to her spot because, obviously, now I know there's a lot of gang members there. And there's a lot of northerners there. So, no, I'm not going to involve myself in that aspect. You know, you can come into my apartment, or I can take you to a Motel 6 or the Majestics in Visalia. We can do that then, homie. It's all good. She goes, hey, fool, why'd you screen record my story, homie? What the? And she started calling me the a puto, and I was like, huh? And then I texted back, like, I didn't screen record it. And then she screen reshot, she screenshotted that it shows that I screen recorded her snap, and she sends it back to me. And in my head, I was like, how the, did she do that? How did she know? Who notified her? I was like, Snapchat's on some weird crap. How, how Snapchat gonna snitch on me when I have like three different accounts already? You know, I've been hacked, but I still have three. You know, I'm being loyal to Snap. Why would they Why would they snitch on me like that? So, bam, I just unfriend her. Like, man, forget you. Forget up out of here, bro. Bam. Uploaded on YouTube. Go to work. A couple days later, you know, I get a girl. Ask me on Snap. I wanted to see who it was. So, I was like, man, what's up with you, man? How, how, how'd you find my uh, my Snap? She goes, hey, fool, it's me. Why'd you screen shot my, why'd you screenshot my stuff, bro? Why'd you, why'd you, why'd you unfriend me? I'm like, oh, my God, this girl's toxic, and she's a stalker, bro. Well, all of a sudden, women out here got PI skills. So I go, I, I write her back, and I was like, look, man, I don't know why you tripping, bro. It's a fight. I just posted it on YouTube. Why are you tripping off? You posted it on your story. You have you had me on Snap. Like, don't even trip, bro. I'm, I'm actually making you look good. 
And she goes, fool, you didn't ask me for that video. My homegirl's in that, fool. We can get caught up for that. Woo, 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 woo. And in my head, I was like, you know what? Forget this, bro. Now she wants to argue with me. Nah, first of all, I don't want you no more. You know, I had a thing for you, but now I don't have a thing for you just because you got an attitude. And I don't like your freaking attitude. And I, do, I sure now don't like the fact that you're questioning me on my First Amendment right. So I wrote it back. I was like, hey, bro, it's on your story, bro. So I'll, as far as I'm concerned, it's public record. Just, I'm allowed to have it. So, I, yeah, I posted it on YouTube. So the freak what, bro? I'm making you guys look good, man. Just miss me with that, bro. And then I get rid of her again. About two weeks later, she actually finds the YouTube short and just starts. She left a mean old 500 word essay, bro. Like it was like it was longer than a prior a, a court grievance. It was like her way of doing a court of appeals against my case that I wanted to put her video of her homegirls and her homies beating this fool up. And she was like, this fool stole my stuff. He's on Snapchat. He be... And then she started smutting me up. Yeah, he be taking screenshots when I'm on my thing thing, doing my thing thing. And I was like, oh, my God. I was like, okay, bro, since you're going to accuse me of revenge corn, I'm going to go ahead and take this down. So I deleted the video. Never heard from her again. I was like, all right, then I'm not going to do that again. Honestly, I'm really not going to do that again because... Obviously, I was violating I was violating some privacy laws that Snapchat didn't tell me about, nor did the state of California ever educate me on. But I thought it was public record. I have a Freedom of Information Act. She put it out there in the world for us to see publicly. I screen recorded it. I exercised my First Amendment rights, so forget her. But that's what happened with this outside. That's when I, when I tripped, when I seen the article on this individual, I was like, what? I always wanted to, I, I had this one for like eight months I've been wanting to do. I just kind of forgot about it. But yeah, man, I saw the dude really getting scraped by two guys and two girls. And like, they were jumping him. Like, it would be the two girls jumping him, and then it'd be the two vatos jumping him, and then it'd be the two girls. But I, in my head, I was, honestly, bro, this is my, this is coming from me, and I'm not talking down on any of the things out there. The hungers are putting it down. I think they were brawling harder than the dudes. The dudes were more or less like, ah. It looked like the dudes were gassing out. And I was like, yeah, see, that's what you get when you want to drink Modelo's all day, every day. Homegirl was like, watch, I'm going to show it how it's done, homie. I'm going to show this puto how it's freaking done. Uh, uh, boo, 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 boo. They got off, bro. They really seriously got off. I wish I had the video. I might look on my Snapchat again. I might, I might still have it in my, uh, in my old videos. I might not, I'm not sure, bro. I, no, I think it might have been in my old account, so I can't show up for you guys. But this happened to me again a long time ago. Knew some girl from Northern California. She was a baddie. She actually came out on Shimo Media Cypher. I added her. She added me back. I started talking to her about collabing, and I started, you know, complimenting her, saying, man, she was a... Uh, uh, I used to say that her booty was tropical fruit, but delicious thick. You know what I mean? I used to get on her, though. I used to, but she was like... She would just accept the comments, but wouldn't give me no play, play back. And I was like, whatever, bro. What's up with these girls, man? They swear they want to they act thirsty, but when, when I get thirsty, all of a sudden they're not drenched and they're not thirsty no more. All of a sudden they quench their thirst, bro. This ain't Sprite, bro. So, same thing. She posted on Instagram a fight at the when, when Nipsey Hussle got his star. There was a dude that was a, a, I don't know if he was a blood, but he was disrespecting Nipsey Hussle's star. And a bunch of uh, rolling 60s cribs just started turfing him. Turfing them. So I was screen recorded off Instagram, you know, copy and paste, you know, cut and crop, posted it on YouTube. Same thing. She finds out about it. She goes, hey, fool, that's me on the phone. That's me. That's how'd you get my video? So I had a message back from Instagram. And she got a lot of likes on Instagram. And she's like, you didn't ask me permission. And I was like, oh, here we go again with copyright infringement. That's that, that's not even copywritten. I'm like, bro, what's up, bro? Like, what happened to, I can't, you know, people are going to use my videos and do what they want. Why not can I use your videos of what you are? It's not like I got you doing explicit content and I published it on another, another OnlyFans account. All I did was get a video of a fight, post it on YouTube just to get some views and get some subscribers. I'm telling you, bro, the hating was real when I first started, bro. The hating was real. I could not win for nothing. But now I know because I've been seeing a lot of it lately and I do understand women's perspective now, including men's. Everybody, the overall perspective, like, man, don't screen record or take screenshots of people's snap. I've never done it for any other reason other than that. I just want to make that abundantly clear to you guys. But, yeah, so I just wanted to share this story with you guys. You know, a Sudanian from Tulare County actually reached the 10 most wanted list, 10 fugitives of the law. And he was right here amongst everybody. I actually have a few more that I want to talk about, including Norteño. That I actually committed a homicide thinking that it was me. 
So stay tuned for those. With that being said, like I always say, it's one life, one chance. We only got one chance to do this right. Let's get it done. Peace.